Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Ordinary Critics. Today we will be reviewing Christopher Robin. Hello everyone, I am Isaac and I'm just an ordinary guy reviewing extraordinary movies and today we are reviewing Christopher Robin. Oh, and I was not ready for this feels trip that they, like I didn't get my permission slip signed by my parents and I was not ready for the feels trip that this movie brought me. But it was very, very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, all the nostalgia from my childhood, which was great. But um, from here on out, just so you know, there will be spoilers. So uh, if you do want to see our spoiler free uh, grade for it, uh, click to the end of this video. There'll be a time card down in the comments for you to check out and skip right to our report card for this movie. So from here on out, there will be spoilers um, and we're gonna go over a whole bunch of stuff. So go check out this movie, come back here and let's get started. Three, two, one, let's go. Yes, we are starting off with a plot for Christopher Robin and I loved it. Oh, it was so charming. It was so adorable. Uh, it was one of those just feel good movies. It starts out with like young Christopher Robin saying goodbye uh, to the Hundred Acre Wood because he's going off to boarding school so he's not going to be there uh, for a while. And then fast forward uh, to him being a grown up and him, uh, Pooh comes and visits him uh, in London because that's where uh, we're in London now. Um, and and he's just he's just like what what is what are you doing here? I thought I could only get to you from Sussex. And he's like, nope, just kidding, I'm around. Uh, <laughs> but no, so he uh, ends up going back to the Hundred Acre Wood and helps uh, Pooh find his friends. It's literally just an extended uh, episode of the cartoon, uh, which was great. Um, I grew up with the cartoon and it just had all of those little things uh, from the cartoon that translated very, very well onto the big screen. Um, so yeah, uh, he ends up finding all of his friends, and they find Pooh, and they reunite, um, and it's all about Christopher Robin uh, finding the playfulness and the joy of what he's doing, and what's, what really, really matters to him. And it's such a, such a strong message coming from this movie. Um, I loved it. I loved it so much. Uh, there was a couple parts where I teared up a little bit, and just because I was like, ah, oh, this is... It's just real, because, you know, uh, in the daily grind of things, you just work, 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 and you don't, like, a lot of the times, I, I don't personally, I don't, you just take a second to breathe and just see what's going on with the world. Checking in with yourself. It's important. It's important. So the plot uh, really drives that point forward, and I, I had so much fun, and just seeing all of the characters, like Christopher Robin and Pooh and Kanga and Roo and Rabbit and Tigger and Piglet and Eeyore, Owl, he's there too. I think that's all of them. Um, no, but just seeing them come to life uh, was so cool. It was so cool, and it just brought me back into my childhood, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, so good job, guys. Um, cast, uh, we got Ewan McGregor uh, as Christopher Robin. Uh, his wife is Haley Atwell, and then I'm not going, I'm going to have our producer put up the list right now of the characters and who voiced what um, because it's just it's so stacked um, with with voices and it was perfect the characters were perfect and it's just like yep this is how it sounded 20 years ago this is you know and it just it oh they're perfect they're perfect so um, casting was awesome and it was amazing and uh, yeah I couldn't have you know you got you got Obi-Wan Kenobi and um, Peggy Carter leading Winnie the Pooh. So I mean, what else, what more could you want, right? <laughs> so next up, um, we have continuity and immersion. Yeah, um, I didn't have a problem with the continuity uh, or the immersion. I was very, very into this movie. I loved it so much. Um, it was just a feel good movie. And uh, there was uh, a couple tricky parts where if you don't know, um, just it's one of those things of like everybody kind of like disappears for a hot second and you're kind of like what is happening and they don't really explain it very well because these these characters see each other every day and uh so when Pooh he's like hey all my friends are gone i need help finding them it like took me out for a second so i was like what do you mean they're they're just gone like they're not at their houses they're not like so it just took me out for a second um with that um 
But other than that, uh, I had no problem whatsoever. Next up, we have Soundtrack. Um, yes, the oh, they had the Tigger song. They had uh, the the theme, the Winnie the Pooh theme song, uh, and it was just it was bringing me. It hit me in the nostalgia so hard because um, you know I grew up um, like I've said like seven times throughout this video. Uh, no, I grew up watching the show and reading the books and I had the stuffed animals and I played the video game like Tigger's Honey Hunt. Yeah, on, for N64, check it out. It is a classic. Um, I, I think that's the first game that I actually binged and like beat in one day. Uh, but no, the soundtrack just emphasized and enhanced this movie so much. It was, it was, it was fantastic. And then cinematography, it was great. Um, the characters, they really brought them to life. And uh, it was a combination of like owl and rabbit looked like like real animals but then the others looked like like realistic versions of the plush versions of themselves which is very very cool and a very cool concept and i loved it um yeah i just loved it i love this movie i love it so much so ah ah uh sits me right in the feels um but okay so here we go um we're the report card short and sweet to the point with this one today um yeah um so we're just gonna go through and give you uh the grades for each thing so here we go plot I'm giving it a 16, cast an 18, continuity immersion is 16, soundtrack an 18, cinematography 17, which gives us an 85, which is a B. This is a solid film. It is family friendly. Uh, take your kids to go see it. Uh, introduce them to these characters that have been around for so long. Uh, and yeah, it was just, it's such, it's such, uh, it gave me, it gave me the, gave me the feels, and I'm I'm not mad about it. So, thank you so much for watching this review. Short, sweet, to the point today. Um, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell to let you know what we're up to. Um, and what did you think of the movie? Leave us a comment below. Um, did you grow up with these characters? Uh, did you know just? We love having conversations about this stuff. So leave a comment down below what you thought of the movie, what they could have done better, what anything you want to talk about. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay ordinary.